Oh, morning everybody, and great to see you all again. So, I've come out today to try something a little bit different. I want to get a little bit more creative and try some out of focus photography, some movement of the camera rather than putting it on the tripod, and just do something a bit different because sometimes you've got to mix things up a bit to try and get more interest into your photography. And I'm going to go around the woodland and I could get an amazing shot and actually I'm going to shoot something that I shot before just in a standard way as well so I'll put that in the middle of the the video. Let's go and explore and see if we can find something where we can do this. Okay let's go. Okay so trying to get a little bit more creative now. What I'm going to do is try some intentional camera movement. So as I take the shot, I'm going to move my camera. So obviously this is a pretty good scene anyway, but often what I find is that you still need good light, you still need good conditions to be able to get some great creative shots using intentional camera movement. And what I've done is I've tried to work out where the trees are lining up pretty well. I'm going to hold my camera and I'm just going to move it up as I take it. Now what I've done is I've, I've got the setting so it's about a tenth of a second and around about um, f5.6, f something like that. Now the other thing that I do is I usually put this on JPEG and I, I, I don't worry too much about doing a raw image here because I take a lot of shots doing this and I just don't want to fill up my, my card. I find that JPEGs are good enough for this because what you're not looking for is that fine detail in the image. Okay, so it's just a question of just doing this, really. So let's have a go. I'm just gonna go, press the shutter and move it up. And then just keep looking at your shots and see if you've got something you like. If you think there's a tree in the way, move a little bit to the side and try again. And trees are the easiest way to do this, but what makes it really good is if you have a little bit of green at the bottom, so you're trying to create layers of color through the image and it can look amazing. So peaceful today. So, so peaceful. So the thing is with intentional camera movement is that you don't have to just go up and down. You can do it in so many different environments. So if I quickly pop over to the beach in the summer, you can see here that I'm moving the camera in a horizontal way to blend together the beautiful different colors between the sand and the ocean and the sky. And by just trying different things, then you can do some really creative things with ICM. Just give it a go. I've never been known for my cautious side. I know the wind that I stir is a gale. So let us just do my love and not stop thinking of this over. that you've probably seen in some of my other videos but I've only ever got it on my phone and that's because I've just scouted here and once I came here and I didn't bring my big camera I just took my phone which I do quite a lot of times when I scout because otherwise I end up just taking photos and not looking for new photos but it was foggy that time and I ended up getting a really good photo on my phone but I couldn't offer it as a print um, because it just wasn't good, good enough quality for my iPhone X. It's great on Instagram, it's great for sharing online, but when I want to print it really big, then it, it's not good enough. 
but I've got exactly the right conditions today. So even though I'm talking a bit more about focusing um, and using a shallow depth of field, what I want to do is just show you the scene and I'm gonna, how I'm gonna take this scene. So I've got my 50 millimeter lens on, which is a brilliant lens for taking woodland photography. It's just a nice focal length to not have any vertical issues and to just, just, comp just, just to look really great in the woodland. Now, the last time I took it, I took it with my iPhone, so that was about 20, 22, 23 millimeters. So what I've had to do is move back a little bit, which has created a few issues in the composition, but by looking at my phone and comparing the composition, then I've been able to get something that I'm, I'm happy with. Now with a, a 50 millimeter lens, then the depth of field isn't going to be able to get for, for, for the, about the six or seven meters I am to the trees all the way to the back but I don't really care about that too much so I'm focusing on these trees here in the foreground let's go and have a look um, so I'm focusing on these trees here but I'm not worried about the trees in the far background so the path's just going to disappear into the into the distance into the fog and it's already quite um, blurry because of the fog so having a shallower depth of field doesn't matter episode or last but one episode is following me okay quickly this isn't going to be for everybody but you can do some quite amazing things by just putting something in front of your lens as well so this is like a tree that I found I've got a reasonably good shot here but I can make it a little bit more interesting by having some out of focus element in the foreground just by moving the tree in front of the lens I can create some quite abstract type shots so again it's worth trying it's worth trying different things it might not be for you Give it a go. As you can see, I'm not in the woodland anymore and there's no fog, I'm on top of a mountain. But the same thing applies, the same thing of having some out of focus element in the bottom of the frame really leads the eye through the frame. And what I've got here is a scene at Winnett's Pass. And I'm out with James, who's got an amazing YouTube channel, by the way. I'll link it up here and he's my model which is quite handily got a red coat on and, and what I'm doing is I'm making sure the bottom of the frame is out of focus that sort of sets the scene I've got a great diagonal line from this road and then James just in the intersection of the thirds so I'll quickly take this shot and see what we get that's James so I've got my camera and it's Again, I've got my Sigma 1.4 lens on. I'm just going to get down low to take the shot. Okay, it's quite a short one this week. Check out the links below because I've put in some updated links to the gear that I use and if you click on those links and buy anything from Amazon then that massively helps this channel so really appreciate that. I've also put a link to Epidemic Sound which is where I get all my music from and there's a link also to the list of music that I use in my videos as well because so many people ask about that. And again thanks ever so much for watching. If you like the video give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already and until next Sunday, bye.